Hi friends and welcome back. Today is day seven of the Ugly Art Club's five minute challenge. And the prompt for today is cobblestone. Um, if you want to know more about the challenge and more about the Ugly Art Club, make sure to check out the description below. I have their links down there as well as the supplies that I use. I try to link everything um, down there if I, if I know where it's from. If I miss something, please don't hesitate to ask and I will try to find that for you. So with this prompt of cobblestone, um, I knew I didn't want to take it too literally. So this is a new stencil that I just got um, from Stencil Girl and it is um, a city map. And so I thought, well, I was thinking about like a city, like the pathways when I thought of cobblestone. And so even though this does not fit exactly for the prompt, um, I'm okay taking it as inspiration and it's a chance to use my new stencil. So it's okay if you're... Um, page does not match a prompt exactly. The whole idea of a prompt is just to give you a little like peak of inspiration that you can go from. So I'm actually going to use this stencil across the entire page. Now this is not something that I do very often. Usually with stencils, um, the way I recommend with using them is just to use a little piece of them, um, pick out different spots, and then you can get more of a random uh, look and effect. Um, I wanted to try something a little bit different. I'm going to use this totally as a background layer and then work on top of it. So I'm just using my sponge to apply that acrylic paint with uh, black gesso. And normally doing like a stencil over the whole page, I would worry about the drying time uh, for a timed project like this, but black gesso dries extremely quick and I only put a thin layer down. Um, I did not need the whole thing to be completely opaque. As you can see, there are little sections that you can see more of the white through the paint and I'm perfectly fine with that. It gives it more of a distressed look and I actually prefer it that way. Next up, I'm just gra grabbing different collage papers um, that I can use, and I'm going to start collaging some of those pieces down. Now, the background is quite busy, busier than I normally would do because you normally start with, you know, maybe a white background. So I'm going to clump some of these collage se sections together and see if I can tone down the background a little bit. So I'm testing different papers and like that one that I just pulled, even though it black and white and it technically fits, I just felt like it was a little bit too busy. Um, I think the best way to, to do collage and different stuff is you just kind of have to start ripping your papers and try different things. You sometimes don't know until you hold it up to the page and see where um, it's going to go. In the end, I think this page does read a little bit busier than I normally would have liked, but I'm okay with that. Um, I think it was really fun to try something different, to use a stencil over the whole thing and to use it almost as the background. Um, it was a fun experiment for me to try and it kind of gives me ideas for other pages. And that's the whole point of working in your journals, right? Is to be inspired, to feel creative and, um, to have those needs met. So I'm just trying different little pieces, seeing what can go and what I can get to flow on this page. Sometimes something that can calm down a page is to have a little bit of repetition, um, maybe in the page papers that you use or um, the patterns that you use. By using it more than once, um, you can almost tone something down because you have that repetitive process. I'm playing around with that prompt label, seeing where I want it, what direction I want it to lay. Um, whether I want it to be on the left side or the right side. Sometimes I go into a spread with an idea in mind, but I try to stay flexible and just see at the end where things take me. Um, being willing to change and let the page take you wherever it may instead of being so stuck in one idea that then 
you feel like you did something wrong because you couldn't make it work. I think if we just try to keep uh, staying loose and just seeing where things take us, in the end, we end up feeling a little bit better. My timer has run out, but I this whole thing is just a little bit too busy. I want to try to do something uh, to tone it down just a little bit. So I'm going to bring in some white gesso. And just with my finger, I'm going to apply it over certain areas. I want to kind of blend the edges. Um, I want to get rid of any harsh lines of any paper against the background or against any other papers. Um, I think white gesso is a great way to do this. It almost gives kind of like a, a ghost effect, a translucent in some areas where you can kind of see through one paper to the next. Um, I really like to use this technique to kind of blend things in. Otherwise, otherwise papers can just look like they're plopped down on top. And that is one of the biggest things for my art style I try to avoid. I don't want to, things to look like they are an afterthought. I want everything to kind of go together and be in a cohesive way. So I wanted to bring a little bit of focal point down to the bottom to bring your eye to the bottom. And by doing um, just my fingerprint there, I'm kind of copying the design that was already in the uh, label prompt that I did and just repeating that pattern, but making it a little bit more bold. Um, towards the bottom makes it a little heavier um, visually on the bottom and kind of draws your eye down in that direction. I could have stopped there but I'm going to add just a few little art marks onto the page um, in the same kind of shape as the fingerprints that I just did. Plus this is my go-to art mark. Um, I try to do other things but my mind just seems to always go back to this. So for this, that's okay. In those five minutes, you don't want to spend uh, too much time thinking. Otherwise, you will just overthink yourself out of that uh, creative process and it will just become a little bit too complicated. So I think I'm going to stop with it there. It is a little bit busy in the end, but um, I'm happy with the results and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching today and I hope that I can see you tomorrow for day number eight of this uh, five minute art challenge. Have a great rest of your day. See you next time.